treasures to thanksgiving day in your hearts and give them praise. And give them and give them praise. Come into his presence with thanksgiving in your hearts, your voices raise. Your voices raise. Welcome, dear brothers and sisters. Uh, today we join with the whole church in celebrating the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord. It's a day of rejoicing that our Lord, after His resurrection, spent 40 days with his people, especially his apostles. Finally, going to that mountain, having given them a message and a mission, he returns to his father. There he is going to sit at the right hand of his to be the judge of all mankind. Let us surrender ourselves and our families to him today, that where the head has gone, we the body of Christ, we also one day be with him, where he has gone to prepare a place for us. So I pray for you and your intention. <clears throat> I pray for the whole world that we may all be saved and all peoples may come to the knowledge of truth. Thus in praying for you, behind this holy mass offered in thanksgiving to the Holy Family, when Preeti and Magdessa celebrate the wedding anniversary, we have a thanksgiving mass offered by Josephine Thomas and Cecilia Philip. Thanksgiving mass offered by the Sebastian, Victor, Vincent, Sanjay, Sangeeta, Arti, Rohit, Vivian, Ashwin Pawar, Jessica, and we come into the Lord, all those whom we have promised to pray for. We have a Mass also for Veni Bhai and Marcus Singare, Mass offered by Peter Marcus Singare and family. For the soul of Simon and Mary, offered by the Smith family. And we also pray for the speedy recovery of Nirmala, Juliet, Rita, Josephine, and Phil. And now we call upon the Lord to accept this, our praise and worship. And in accepting, bless all of us according to His holy will. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and, and with, with your spirit. Aaj Kalisya Prabhu Keswar Grohan ka parv mana rahi hai. Punarjivit Yesu 40 dino tak is dharti par rahane ke baad swar ki aur अपने पिता के पास आरोहण करते हैं स्वर्ग में आरोहण से पहले यीशु अपने शिष्यों को एक बड़ा मिशन कार्य सौंपते हैं 
कि वे दुनिया के कोने कोने में सुसमाचार का प्रचार करें लोगों को विश्वास में जीने के लिए निमंत्रण दे उन्हें बपतिस्मा दे इत्यादि प्रचार का काम अभी भी पूरा नहीं हुआ है और इसकी निरंतरता की जिम्मेदारी हम पर है हम यीशु के मिशनरी आदेशों को कैसे पूरा करते हैं So in order to prepare ourselves to offer the sacrifice of love, let us call to mind our sins and purify ourselves. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of your heavenly Father. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us a life everlasting. Amen. Mahima, 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 Unche nab me, Mahima, 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 Unche nab me. with holy joys almighty god and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of christ your son is our exaltation and where the head has gone before in glory the body is called to follow in hope so lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you and in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen swarg mein arohit kar liye jaane ke purv yesu apne shishyo ko aashwasan dete hain ki vah pita ke paas pahunch kar unke liye pavitra atma bhej denge first reading A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. 
In the first book of Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach. Until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, to them he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs. Appearing to them during forty days and speaking of the kingdom of God and while staying with them he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the Father which he said you heard from me for John baptized with water but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And when he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven, as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Together. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. All peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear great king over all the earth. Our response, God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God. Sing praise. Sing praise to our king. Sing praise. Our response, God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. And we rise for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Go, make disciples of all nations. I am with you always to the close of the age. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, Lord. Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain, to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth 
has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise Lord to you, Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. So, my dear brothers and sisters, a great day of rejoicing, not only in Jerusalem, where surely so many people must have gathered near that mountain to see where the disciples are going. And the disciples could see Jesus so much with them. Finally, hearing the great commandment, a mission given to them to go and proclaim, to baptize. And then the disciples could see Jesus ascending into heaven. Joy of Jesus returning, maybe another rejoicing in heaven to welcome Jesus. All the angels and saints waiting to welcome Jesus back to his glory. Many questions must have been in their minds to ask him. Till one said, what next? What is your plan, Jesus? Now that you have left everything and come here, who is going to carry on the work, the tasks that he gave? Yes, I left a group of men down. They will definitely do. What if they forget? Have you forgotten, Edward? Now you are left behind. Apostles are also gone. You remember the command given by God? That is the belief Jesus has. That he has returned, but has prepared enough people to carry on the task that he wants to accomplish. It is said about the world war. The soldiers were returning. As the group was returning home, they found a statue of Jesus mightily destroyed, except for the face. Only the face was left behind. What could they do? They can't fit all the parts together. Till one soldier said, we'll do like this. We'll keep it on a stand. And so the face put the head of Jesus on the stand. And they said, now what? The disciples said, I remember one saint saying something. Let me remember. He remembered it well. And on that pedestal was written, I have no hands but yours. I have no legs but yours. I have no body but yours. That was enough message for all the world to do and to realize that now we are the body of Christ. A body that has to shed its blood once again when the task that is given to you to be carried out. Your legs will help you to reach out to many people. Your hands will stretch out to, in mercy and love. That is why you are left behind. And the promise of Jesus will be fulfilled if you remember the mission given to each one of you that is not going to leave you orphans, is going to walk with you till the end of time 
and you are going to be Jesus, reaching out to the people of the world, bringing his mission of love and service to the people and helping them to become more and more like Jesus. So Jesus is walking on this earth through you. We are good messenger of Jesus. We are another Jesus for the people to see and to experience the healing touch that Jesus still wants to give. The merciful heart that Jesus has given to you to be merciful to people around you and has given your mind full of love, joy and peace that you can live with your people. May God bless you all and have a wonderful feast celebration with your family. We shall now profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered at Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He went down to the dead. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now place our petitions in the hands of our Heavenly Father. Our response shall be, Lord, Strengthen our faith together. Lord, strengthen our faith. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Thomas, the clergy and the religious that as authority figures, they may carry out everything that Jesus requires of them as he has laid them out in the great missionary command. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, strengthen, strengthen our, our faith. faith. For the universal church, that it may become the visible sign of the kingdom of God, which Jesus has established through his life and mission. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord strengthen, strengthen our, our faith. faith. Catholic Kalisia may Sanchar Madhyamo ka upyog sikhane, suchit karne, dharm granto ko sampadit karne, और विश्वासियों के विश्वास को बढ़ाने में उपयोग किया जा सके इसके लिए हम ईश्वर से प्रार्थना करते हैं लॉर्ड स्ट्रेंथन आवर फेथ यस एवरी फादर वी प्लीज द पिटीशन ऑफ ऑल आवर पीपल लिसन टू एवरी प्रेयर ऑफ आवर पीपल एंड ब्लेस अस ऑल अकॉर्डिंग टू हू वी बी we ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> sacrifice and yours may become 
acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Father God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today into the highest heavens, and the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator before God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from a lonely state, but that we, his members, might be con confident of falling where our head and found a red God. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy their body gets be free by sending down your spirit upon them that they do forth, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the challenge of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this song, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his passion and death, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, counting as worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church right throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. We pray for all those who have died. In your mercy, Grant them eternal grace. Have mercy on all of us. Have mercy on all the peoples of the world. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, a Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints, we may be pleased to gather into your kingdom and come into the glory along with all of them. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that with the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. With you. Peace, peace be with you. The Lamb of God, take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. My spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above everything, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you are already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. I love me not to be separated from you. Jesus, my good, my sweet and only love, inflame this heart of mine that it may be always on fire for you. Communion and defend. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty and the living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate the divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christians' hope may draw us towards to where our nature is, united with you. Bless all your people. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you all and remain with your love and forever. Amen. So, dear friends, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Navina, in honor of coming of the Holy Spirit. Day 3. The gift of piety begets in our hearts a filial affection for God as our most loving Father. It inspires us to love and respect for His sake persons and things consecrated to Him, as well as those who are vested with His authority, His Blessed Mother and the Saints, the Church and its visible head. 
our parents and superiors, our country and its rulers. He who is filled with the gift of piety finds the practice of his religion not a burdensome duty but a delightful service where there is love, there is no labor. Prayer together. Come, O blessed spirit of piety, possess my heart, enkindle therein such a love for God that I may find satisfaction only in his service and for his sake lovingly submit to all legitimate authority. Amen. So dear friends, thank you for joining us this celebration. Today with this feast, 40 days of Easter celebration comes to an end. Now another week and then we'll be celebrating the feast of the Pentecost. That is next Sunday. Next Sunday we shall all pray with the whole family of yours. We shall pray for the coming of the Spirit upon each one of you, that you may be strengthened in your mission to be completed, the mission that you received through baptism and confirmation. Till then, stay blessed, and we pray for all of you. We are still caught up, but let us be obedient. Keep the necessary distance. Wear your mask and gloves also, they say, is a must. Yes, don't take it for granted. We have to protect the other who is still on the road, still in their own world, to do so many beautiful things for their families. Let us be a source of blessing to one and all. I pray for you, be cheerful, be caring and sharing. Don't forget to share a little of your meal with one who is in need of it. If you have got rations, more than enough, give it to the Vincent Nepal Society of our parish. If you like to share more than what you have got, give it to them. They will find ways and means of reaching out to the poor. God bless and have a wonderful day. And don't forget to pray for Leonel, pray for Edward, Pray for me also, as we pray for you. God bless you. Take care. Thank you. Prayer for protection against coronavirus. O oh God, in this time of the coronavirus, we turn to you in trust and hope. You are ever full of mercy, compassion and love towards us. We ask you, loving Father, to be merciful to us and in your divine power, take away from all over the world this grievous pandemic of coronavirus. Inspire all authorities to take effective measures to contain the disease. Help us to be alert and vigilant against coronavirus and to follow all guidelines and directives. You redeemed and saved us through the suffering and resurrection of Jesus. Help us not to be discouraged but to believe and hope that you will bring good out of this evil. Father, let your victory and glory shine through this deadly disease. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen of heaven rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the, For the Lord, Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant that we may obtain through his Virgin Mother Mary the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord is my tower, and He gives me the power to shed down the works of the enemies. In His difficult tower, He will touch the devourer and bring the bars of darkness underneath my feet. 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Take care.